So we have a cylinder. The volume is 6.28 centi cubic centimeters. The radius is 3 centimeters. The, and pi is 3 point, approximated as 3.14. Our for, formula for the volume of a cylinder is you take the area of the base, pi r squared, and then you multiply it by the height of that cylinder, h. And that gives you the volume. We're going to plug these things in. Uh, and then we're going to figure out what, what the height is. And just a quick note that pi is, again, this irrational number that goes on and on forever. And it can't, you can't just write it down on paper because it goes on and on forever and there's no pattern. And if we just do 3.14, that will approximate pi. So 3.14 is wrong. It's not what pi is, but it's close. And it's for a lot of practical applications, it's good enough. So we get 6.28 equals pi, 3.14, times r squared, 3 squared, put that in parentheses, times h. And it's good to do this. 3 squared is 3 times 3. which is just 9, right? 3 squared is 9. So this is a nice way of doing it. 6.28 is 3.14 times 9 times h. Okay, with that? But before we multiply 9 times 3.14, there's a nice simple way of getting to the answer. There's a nice little step we can make here. If, if anyone can spot that 3.14, is that a multiple of 6.28? I too. Right. So if I divide this side by 3.14, and then I can divide this side by 3.14, That'll help me get to the answer, right? Because these guys cross cancel. They give ones. And so on the right, I'll just get, you know, 1 times 9h over 1. That's just 9h, isn't it? But on this side, 6.28 over 3.14, like you say, that's a multiple. That's twice 3.14 is going to give 6.28, isn't it? Because... So 3.14 yes. into itself gives 1, and 3.14 into this gives 2. So that's just 2 over 1 or 2. So I have 2 equals 9h. Okay with that? Yes. Then you have to now, divide the 9. Divide the 9. As simple as that. So 2 ninths equals h. So our h is 2 9 centimeters cm for centimeter cm okay with that yes lovely